Hello everyone, um, welcome back. This is the final part of a day in the life of a student teacher. Um, this is my, uh, the school day is over. Third grade has been released. They are free to do whatever they'd like at home. Um, we sent them off with some asynchronous work and most of them finished it so they just have time to relax at home. Um, so the day ended at 1.40 and me or my master teacher and I, we um, conferenced for about 20 minutes after we, after class. Um, we normally just talk about what the next day will look like. Um, if we need anything, if we are working on anything, we talk about it. Um, most of our conversations have been about reopening. Um, since tomorrow, we have um, an asynchronous day. We talk about all the things the kids do, things we're missing in our week things like that um pretty simple and now i am able to lesson plan um create lessons for the rest of the week and grade so i'll show you a look at the presentation i'm working on now which is ecosystems so i used a website canva to create some slides um and this, this is what they look like i'm still working on them right now and then eventually, um, once it's done, um, I added to Pear Deck so that the students can, or yeah, added to Pear Deck so that the students can move things around or um, draw things on it. So that's pretty, pretty much what I'm gonna do for some time. Um, and then, what else happens? Oh, and then I have to grade writing. Let me see if I can pull up my rubric for writing. So for writing, um, it was my first time doing, an, or teaching writing, I should say, which is really fun. Um, the students had written narrative before. They had written um, some informative writing, but um, I decided that we could tie in an informative writing lesson into science since we were learning about animal and plant life cycles. So um, I decided to ask them to write about animal life cycles so they were all assigned an animal and um, they had to write about the animal life cycle so I had to give a whole lesson on what informative writing is um, what it looks like um, some of the elements and then I gave them a checklist to complete the assignment so what I was looking for as I was grading so let me show you that it looks just like this um, all the things that they're writing must include um, I gave them an example of what a good or a bad one looks like, and then this is an example of what a good one looks like. And then I gave them a place to write, um, include their sources, and any pictures they wanted to add, in, to add in, I should say. And then the first slide just has the um, information about what they will write about. So this was this assignment was due last Wednesday, so. Um, now it's my turn to grade them all. So, let me make sure I had all the names before I put it out there. Okay, so our writing scale is one to four. So, um, if they achieve, you know, mastery of the subject or the area, then they would get a four. Um, and if they don't, then they just get whatever score it falls under. So I've taken each part of my um, rubric, sorry, and I have put it into a column. Um, so like this one is catchy for a sentence. And then if they have it, then I give them a four. If it's not as good, then they get a three. Um, if they don't have it, then it's a one. So these are all the criteria that I'm using to grade them and I just made this on Google Sheets um, I take the average of all the scores and then that's their final score so if I were to average this and the cool thing about sheets is you can you know get it to do it automatically for you um, I haven't added that in yet but um, once I'm finished with all of the grades then I can get an average and that'll give me their grades and then um, we'll put that in their report cards, which are due this week. So, 
Um, that's what grading is like in lesson planning. Um, is, I mean, they're both pretty exciting, right? Um, the fun thing about student teaching is that a lot of what you, like how you're going to teach comes from your methods classes, which if you're in the ITA program is your last year in the program. And if you've reapplied to get to the credential program, it's just your initial, like I think it's your second semester, the initial classes you take um, that teach you really how to teach. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, like my science methods class really prepared me to understand the, ma um, not the methods, the um, standards and then lesson plan ideas, things like that. So that's really how I learned all of this, um, how to do it all. And also I've just learned a lot from my master teacher. Like she taught me um, some of the websites like Nearpod and Pear Deck um, that the students are already familiar with. Um, so I chose to student teach in the spring only because um, the students already had a routine. If I go into the fall, I would kind of be, they would have to create a new routine. Like everything's kind of fresh to them. Um, but I chose the spring because, you know, they already had a routine. They already were familiar with everything going on in the class. So that's why I choose the spring. Um, and then it is my last semester and then I just graduate right when I'm done. Um, as part of the program, they do prepare you to take the California Teacher Performance Assessment or the CalTPA. Um, so there was two workshops for cycle one and then um, cycle two was the second workshop. And they just tell you what to expect in the TPA, what you need to film, what you need to write, um, anything else that you might need to know about the CalTPA is explained. And then um, we meet with our university supervisor once or every other like once a week or every other week ours is every other week um and she basically just goes over with us how our weeks have been going how our classes are going um assists us with anything we need for the cal tpa um anything like that and right now um i'm also in the process of applying to districts um, to teach full time which has been a lot of work on top of making lesson plans and stuff, which is why I'm excited that um, I have a couple days off because the kids are just going to have asynchronous days, um, which gives me a little bit more time to work on my um, applications. So when you apply to teach, you apply to a school district if you want to teach in a public school. It's been interesting. Um, some places will ask me to um, send in a video of me teaching. Um, other places will ask for like three um, letters of recommendation. Um, a lot of things like that that I have to submit. And even though I don't have my credential yet, I can still apply as long as I give a letter of good academic standing. So that's been very um, helpful. I have one of those. Um, and so yeah and then i just wait around now is when the applications open um i think some of them were open in at the end of february um fortunately substitute teaching positions are always open as well if you are looking to get into you know a career in teaching right now um substitutes are in high demand um at the moment so it's definitely worth checking out um, but yeah, um, I know I we had a question earlier that was how student teaching going, and today was great. Um, the kids seemed to be pretty good. I think they were just excited because they get three asynchronous days in a row. Um, but it's been going good so far for me, at least. I haven't had too many problems with the kids other than engagement. A little bit of lack of focus comes out to play. Um, but for me, I feel very prepared. I have a lot of resources. Um, sometimes it feels like I'm swamped with work, especially when we do have a full week. Um, but I just take it a step at a time. My master teacher um, really showed me how to make like a checklist of things to do each day, um, not to overdo myself, right? Take my time during the weekend um, to catch up and she definitely was like, take some time for yourself, right? Don't make it all about the kids. 
especially um, now that we're online, just to separate your work from your home so that you can go relax, watch a TV show on Netflix, and then um, get back to it when you're ready. So it's been uh, fun. I've really enjoyed it. I honestly couldn't have asked for a better class, a better master teacher. They're amazing. I love them so much. Um, They're making it so much easier on me, I think. Um, It could be harder. Um, But I'm enjoying it. I'm learning a lot about myself and my teaching style. Um, It's not, you know, simulated or like where I'm just an observer. I'm actually doing things, um, teaching the class. I, and I definitely feel like I'm, I'm their teacher, right? They um, look to me as, you know, a person that teaches them. Um, And I feel like I'm an equal to my master teacher, right? She's just, you know, we're co-teachers. We're not, you know one above the other just the same so yeah that's i guess everything about student teaching in a nutshell um if you have any more questions feel free to always ask us we are here on instagram and i'm still gonna you know be around as a sam um but that is it for me again any questions always feel free to ask um we're open um if you are interested in a career in teaching and you're not a um in the um credential program at all yet feel free to talk to our tpac office um they can help you uh, figure out where you need to go in order to start student teaching so that's it for me thank you so much hope you enjoyed have a nice day